Hello to Wednesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you with us here on YouTube and welcome to those joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As normal, we'll give people just a few more seconds to join us and this will give us time to settle ourselves as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. God's love has flooded our hearts. Through the Holy Spirit he has given us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. Amen. Now we turn to the Psalms. Today I'm reading Psalm 143. It says, O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you, I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, Bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Amen. Now we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. 
Now we read from the Gospels, and today we're in Luke chapter 9, reading from verse 10. When the apostles returned, they reported to Jesus what they had done. Then he took him, took them with him, and they withdrew by themselves to a town called Bethsaida. But the crowds learned about it and followed him. He welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed healing. Late in the afternoon, the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so they can go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find food and lodging because we are in a remote place here. He replied, You give them something to eat. They answered, We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, unless we go and buy food for all this crowd. About five thousand men were there. But he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about fifty each. The disciples did so, and everybody sat down. Taking the five loaves and the, and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them. Then he gave them to the disciples to set before the people. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Amen. That's the word of God. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We'll use the first prayer on the sheet. This is followed by a time of silence, where we can lift before God the prayers, the people, the things that are on our hearts, and the things that God lays on our hearts. Let's pray together. God of peace and protection, we put our trust in you alone. At all times and in every circumstance, we want to follow the way of your Son, who was moved to compassion as he looked upon the world around him. Therefore, we come before you now to ask for your help and your intervention. In your great mercy, hear our continuing prayers in the midst of the challenges of our day. We pray in silence. Let us continue. <clears throat> we pray together. Help us, your people, 
O Lord, to act with faith and wisdom. May the peace of Christ that passes all understanding enable us to be peacemakers and bring peace to others. As Jesus served the most needy and most vulnerable, help us to serve those around us with love. When we have the opportunity to help, enable us to do it. When we need to make sacrifices, give us the courage to do so. When we ourselves are threatened, give us the grace to trust in you. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Amen. God, the wellspring of our life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace, that, refreshed by you, we may live this day in steadfast reliance on your strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, and of Christ, who summons us to service, and of the Holy Spirit, who inspires generosity and love, be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Um, we hope to see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.